Hello Puppet fans, and welcome to this lecture. In this lecture we will learn the node group classification and how to classify nodes through Puppet Console. Configure nodes by assigning classes, parameters, and variables to them. This is called classification. The main steps involved in classifying nodes are Create node groups Add nodes to groups, either manually or dynamically, with rules. Assign classes to node groups Nodes can match the rules of many node groups. They receive classes, class parameters, and variables from all the node groups that they match. Create node groups You can create node groups to assign either an environment or classification. Environment node groups assign environments to nodes, such as test, development, or production. By default, P includes a production environment group that all nodes match, and an agent specified environment group that you can manually add nodes to in order to use the environment specified in the nodes config file. Classification node groups assign classification data to nodes including classes, parameters, and variables. Create classification node groups to assign classification data to nodes. In the console, click classification, and click add group. Parent name, select the name of the classification node group that you want to set as the parent to this node group. Classification node groups inherit classes, parameters, and variables from their parent node group. By default, the parent node group is the all nodes node group. Group name, enter a name that describes the role of this classification node group, for example, web servers. Here I will give it a name as Linux servers. Environment Specify an environment to limit the classes and parameters available for selection in this node group. If you will check the environment box that we will become environment specific node group, I will leave it as unchecked. You can also add description to this group. Now click on add to add the node group. In this lab we will assign a MOTD class through node group classification so just make sure MOTD is not configured. MOTD is the file used to display custom message when someone log in to the server. Now in node group, select the rules tab. In rules tab you can create a rule to assign nodes by using a fact option or by assigning nodes individually. Like if you will select the OS family fact as Red Hat, it will display the nodes matching that fact in Matching Nodes tab. You can also pin the node by searching the cert name of that node. Next is Configuration tab. Here you can add the classes to assign the nodes which you have added in Rules tab. So add a new class as MOTD and click an Add class. If you would like to provide a parameter you can provide in Class Parameters. You can also provide the parameters in Data section without assign the class and data will be applied on next run. I will leave the default parameters and will go to the Variables tab. Here you can declare the global variables used by the node in this node group. The activity tab show you the recent activities happened in the node group like a log for node group creation. Now commit both the changes for adding a node and assigning the class to that node. Now let's verify the changes by a running command puppet agent hyphen t and you will find the MOTD file has been created in slash etc. Check the content of the file. 
This file will display the custom system information when you will log in to the server. Now if you will check the activity tab you will find the logs for adding the class and assign the rule. And you can also unmanage the configuration by removing the node from rules tab. So just verify it. Unpin the node, commit the changes. And nullify the content of MOTD file. Now if you will run the puppet agent hyphen T, the MOTD class will not be applied on the node. You can check the activity tab again for the node group changes. Ok, so in this lecture we have learned to configure the node group classification. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have time feel free to move on to next lecture.